All right, we've got Janessa Gold back with us, who is a veterans nonprofit executive, also running for the San Diego County Board of Supervisors District 4 seat, which is vacant right now. Janessa, thank you so much for your time. We've got a couple questions for you. We're going to time it out and everything, and we're ready to go. You ready? Let's get into it. All right, so the first question is about rent. Rent is expensive. Uh, mortgages are high. We kind of all know this. A recent study found nearly 60% of homes in San Diego are selling for more than a million dollars at this point. Uh, some people are choosing to leave, as we've heard, or some, unfortunately, uh, ending up on the streets because they just can't afford it. Uh, what can you do to help fix this as a supervisor on the board? Two minutes on the clock for you. Go ahead. The rent is too dang high. I mean, we recently saw in San Diego County that we surpassed San Francisco in terms of how expensive our rents are. And I just don't think you should have to be rich to live in the Golden State. But we have really severely lacked and lagged in building affordable housing at every income level for families, for working people. And so I think we need to aggressively build more affordable housing um, to make rents go down. We also have to really prioritize our fastest growing population here in San Diego County, which is senior citizens. And senior citizens are not only our fastest growing demographic, but they are also our fastest growing homeless population, which is completely wrong. You know, more than 29% of people who are experiencing homelessness in San Diego County are seniors, and most of them are experiencing homelessness for the first time. So I want to make it a priority to put seniors front and center when it comes to conversations about homelessness and housing, and make sure that we have enough affordable housing for seniors, that we have services for seniors and that folks who are in danger of losing their housing because of rising rents, people who might be on a fixed income, that the county reaches out and takes care of them. Right now, there is a pilot program uh, underway at the County of San Diego to provide a stipend to seniors who are on fixed incomes uh, who can't keep up with inflation and the rising cost of rent. I, that, that pilot program right now is serving 200 something seniors. I'd like to expand that significantly and make it permanent so we don't have our grandparents and our elders in danger of losing their housing. 30 seconds left on the clock. Okay. The other thing that I'll say is uh, we know that we have a lot of county land, and I'd like to put that to work to build housing. San Diego Unified School District is doing something very interesting. They're building workforce housing on their own land for their teachers, for their janitors, for their administrators. Land is one of the biggest costs when it comes to building affordable housing. So the county should be putting its own land to work, partnering with nonprofits and building housing for the thousands of county employees who work across the county of San Diego. Janessa, right on time. There is the alarm on that question. Go ahead and reset the clock here to two minutes one more time. Next question for you. We ask our elected officials across the board all types of questions and demand all kinds of things. And we find sometimes they just don't have the power to do it. It may not be their purview or it might be and they do get some things done. What do you think, as since you're running for it, what do you think is the purpose of the County Board of Supervisors, obviously, especially here? in San Diego County. Two minutes on the clock for you. Go ahead. Well, the County Board of Supervisors is the best resourced, largest entity in our region. And I believe that the duty and the role of the supervisors is to make change. Uh, that makes a real difference in people's lives. I talk to voters and people out in the district every single day. People feel like things are getting worse, whether it's the homelessness crisis or the skyrocketing cost of rent or just the cost of living in San Diego County. They want to change. They're sick of politics as usual. And I think across the board, people are sick of politicians slinging mud at each other, uh, yelling in their corners and nothing getting done. Um, I do not accept the status quo. I think there's a lot more we can do when it comes to housing and homelessness. It will require reaching a across the aisle uh, to get things done. But that's what people want. They want to see the ball moved. Um, they don't want to just see us uh, yelling at each other and, and nothing changing or taking ideological stances that uh, don't advance uh, real change for people's lives. That's what I've been about my whole career, not accepting the status quo. When I joined the Marine Corps, there were still jobs that were closed to women simply on the basis of gender. Uh, I, I couldn't believe that was the case in 2012. Uh, so I volunteered to be part of an initiative to change that policy. And we successfully did opening up all jobs in the military to anybody qualified to do them. Um, so I think when it comes to big problems like homelessness uh, in our county. The county has a huge role to play, whether it's opening more emergency shelters on county land or investing in independent um, in in-home services for seniors. There's a lot that the county can do, um, but it's going to require big thinking, not just taking little bites around the apple or uh, holding press conferences that don't result in real change, 
folks are tired of that. They're tired of politicians talking to them and saying they're going to fix things and nothing ever getting done. Um, I spent my career working at the federal and state level to pass legislation that makes a real impact in people's lives, like expanding veterans' health care benefits to over 5 million vets last year. Uh, I want to bring that same experience up, 15 years of experience, and put it to work on behalf of San Diego County. All right, Janessa, there's that buzzer again on that question. We'll go ahead and reset that back to two minutes again. Next one. Uh, you spent time and effort, obviously, we see the sign behind you putting together a campaign uh, as you run for this seat. But what do you want uh, voters and viewers out there to know that they won't find out about you from your campaign website or Googling you or wikipedia you or whichever other way that they're going to go? You got two minutes on this one. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, well, I grew up in San Diego County. Uh, my mom, my mom was a public school teacher. My dad drove a tow truck. We grew up. In, I grew up in North County, um, and my parents were um, vegetarian uh, pacifists. And when I told them that I was gay, they they said, "We love you no matter what." And when I told them I was joining the Marine Corps, they were stunned. Um, I think we all contain multitudes. Uh, you know, people don't fit neatly into boxes. And I'm really proud of my career and the, the life choices that I made that have brought me into contact with all different types of people from all walks of life. Um, I think that's really important. We have an empathy deficit right now in our country uh, where people have a lot of trouble seeing things from another's perspective. When it comes to local government, we all want solutions to the homelessness crisis. We all want to see uh, our, our neighbors have, be able to, th to thrive, not just survive in San Diego County. We want our kids to go to great schools. And we want to be able to access the outdoors and really treasure what San Diego, what makes San Diego so special. And so I, I really think that it's important to bring that spirit uh, into public office. Um, I'm a listener. Uh, I believe in being out in the community. When I was a Marine, I knew that if I ever wanted to see how my Marines and sailors were really living, uh, I needed to go directly to the barracks and, and see for myself. Uh, you can't just rely on staff all the time. And that's the kind of leader that uh, I've been throughout my career running a national advocacy organization that represents over a million and a half vets and military families uh, as an officer in the Marine Corps and as a human rights advocate in Washington, D.C. So I'll bring that same sense uh, of, of listening, of community building, um, and just of empathy for different points of view, uh, because I think it's it's missing in our society and government today, and people really want to change. All right, Janessa, you got about 10 seconds. Would you like to keep going? I'm good. I I think I nailed it there. <laughs> okay. I don't need to hear myself talk just to hear myself talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So we've got one second left on that. We'll run it down for your choice. And then we've got one more for you. As you're running for this seat, you've been campaigning already several community forums with all your co-candidates for this seat. Two minutes to use however you'd like to address the voters and viewers who may be watching this on the clock. It's yours. Well, first of all, thanks to whoever's watching this. You know, this is an odd time of year for there to be a special election. Um, I'm I'm out knocking on doors every single day or on the phones calling voters. And there's just uh, the reality that a lot of people are not aware that this election is happening. But this is a really important seat uh, to determine the direction of the county um, for the next you know few years. And so it's really important that people are engaged. And it means a lot that people are taking the time to watch this interview and to be involved. You know, I came back to San Diego County um, as an officer in the Marine Corps. My last duty station was MCRD San Diego, right by the airport. And the reason I came back was because my mom was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. She'd had a long struggle with multiple sclerosis. It developed into a dementia diagnosis. Um, I'm an only child. My parents are divorced. And I knew I needed to come home to take care of her. And the experience of trying to navigate moving her from her home into a facility that really met her needs that we could afford uh, was a really challenging, uh, eviscerating experience for me. Um, and at the time, you know, I was an officer in the Marines. I had a good income. My mom was blessed to have a disability pension from her union job. Uh, I had a master's degree. You would think like, all these things that would make it easier for me to navigate, but it was really challenging and really expensive. And when I think about all the people in San Diego County who don't have the resources that we had, um, didn't have the good fortune of having a supportive you know, employer that let me take time off to help, um, I see my mom. And I see my mom's story reflected in our a homeless population that are seniors, um, that are families who are struggling to make ends meet to provide for their kids. And that's really the animus and the motivation for me to get involved and to run for this seat. I think that San Diegans deserve a leader who has the experience 
experience to hit the ground running, um, but is not going to accept the status quo and is going to fight for everyone uh, in San Diego, whether they were born and raised here, immigrated here. Um, that's who I am. That's why I'm in this fight. And um, that's why it's important to me. All right, Janessa, right on time on that one. There we go. Zero seconds and the clock rubs out. Janessa Goldbeck, a veterans nonprofit executive, also one of the four candidates running for the District 4 County Board of Supervisors seat that's open here in San Diego County. Janessa, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate the opportunity.